John Oaks here with Hangsters Hot Rods here in our Indiana, Pennsylvania showroom today. And uh, what we have for you today is a 1955 Chevrolet Nomad. Uh, this car is in tip top shape, a, a condition. So we're going to do like we always do. We've got it up on our lift. We're going to take you through the underside of the car here. Um, just kind of show you what we all have here underneath and then we'll be able to get it down off the lift go around the outside for you interior and under the hood then so of course while we have it up in the air we always start here at the back end of the car and you can see uh, this thing is in tip top shape all red oxide primer down here on the underside of the car here um, you can see dual exhaust the tailpipes run all the way to the back of the car and this is all new exhaust work that's on this car too um, you have looks to have an all new fuel tank here too you can see all new straps the rubber in between that's all in excellent shape all looks to be all new here you can see the spare tire provision here um, that's mounted underneath here you can get to that through the back you know of the car here frame rails um, you can also see those nice and straight uh, all solid, no patching or anything like that. Again, all restored to. So again, those are in excellent shape back here. Uh, as we work our way just a little bit more forward here, we'll start out here at the end edges, work our way across. Um, we've got 20 inch wheels. These are, uh, looks to be uh, custom polished aluminum, looks to be Riddler wheels on here. Um, these are again a five spoke design. We'll see those once we get them down off the, off the lift here. But again, 20 inch wheels. Um, the rubber that's mounted on these are 275 40 ZR 20s back here. Um, drum brakes on the rear, multi leaf rear suspension. It's got the original rear end in it here. Um, all your brake lines, the hard brake lines, those are all new, run across the whole rear end and up through the car. Looks to have all new shocks on it as well. Now this car has been lowered, so you've got lowering blocks on the front, or on the rear here I should say. On the front of the car it's been lowered too, just slightly. Um, so yeah, probably, probably like a two, maybe a three inch lowering block on the back here. Um, again, original style rear over to the other side. Again, drum brake, the Riddler wheels, 20 inch wheels with that Milestar rubber. And again, that's the same tire the whole way around the car, all four corners. So all matching tread. And you can see these are all brand new tires too. You can see the little mold marks and everything on them still there. Um, so at this point, we'll go ahead now, move our way up to the center of the car. Here we are now under the center of our 55 Chevy Nomad. Now we can take a good look at the floors, the exhaust, the frame rails, stuff like that here. So again, out here at the ends, um, you can see just how well this car was put together. So you can see your rockers, um, the undersides of the floors here, all solid. Again, that red oxide primer underneath here. Frame rails, nice and straight, nice and square. They're not uh, banged in or anything like that. Again, no patches either. Excellent condition. Um, exhaust work, as I said, it's all new. So you see all new pipe, all new mufflers here all the way back to the tailpipes that are up and over the rear end housing and then out the back to your tailpipe here. Uh, emergency brake, uh, all that stuff is all hooked up. The cables here, the correct uh, hardware, the U-hooks, everything like that, all the way back to the rubber lines back there. Um, as far as transmission goes, this has an all new turbo 350 transmission. It's got this fin chrome pan here uh, just to make it you know dress it up underneath here uh, like I said all new so of course the transmission is all painted up um, as far as body mounts go too on this car you can very easily see some of these mounts here they are in excellent shape the rubber bushings here those are not they're not smashed in they're not crushed they're not cracked they're in good 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 shape there um, as we work our way now to the front um, we have, you know, our tie rods here, um, all the little rubber dust boots, uh, the covers there are intact to do exactly what it is they were designed to do. That is to hold the grease in, keep dirt and debris out. Um, again, all of these steering components are in good shape. Um, all the rubber dust, dust boots intact, bushings, ball joints, all that stuff, all in good condition, greased and maintained just as they should be. 
And finally now we're here at the front end of the 55 Nomad. So again, we'll take you from side to side here, show you what we've got. Again, those Riddler wheels, um, now up front, these are 18 inch wheels. The size of the tires mounted on here are 245 40ZR18s on the front. Again, all brand new, same tread as the back, same tire, Milestar tires. Um, as far as the brakes up front, we've got uh, dr uh, drilled and slotted rotors, so front disc brakes here. We've got suspension here is just stock factory stamp steel components. So lower control arms, upper A arms, those are all stock stamp steel components. Uh, it looks to have pretty new shocks and springs up front here. Frame rails are in excellent shape. You can see how nice and straight and square that those are. Um, the front cross member, you can see that clear as can be. It doesn't look like it's been on the road much. Again, this car has been restored. So again, it's not banged up or dented in or anything like that. It's in excellent condition. Other side, same thing. Um, all the same components. Uh, now on the brakes, um, again, all brake lines are all new on this car. All the rubber lines out at the four corners, those are all new too. So you're not going to have any issues with, you know, cracking or anything like that. It's all good rubber, um, so no issues to speak of there. Um, that's about it on the underside of our Nomad. Uh, we can now um, get it down and uh, we'll take you around the outside of this car. This car is a real beauty, so I'm sure you'll enjoy once we get there. All right, here we are with our 1955 Chevrolet Nomad here down off of the lift. If you notice the background a little different, we're starting to make the transition to our new showroom, our new facility here. Uh, and this would be our new photo studio. So this is one of the first cars to get done in here. So uh, hopefully it looks good for everybody out there. Anyways, we do have our 55 Nomad here. Again, this is a full frame off restoration on this car. Practically everything is pretty much all new on this car. Um, the paint, you can see nice two-tone paint job here. We've got this light to medium blue uh, on the bottom half of the car. You've got this nice contrasting white on the top of the car here also. Very nice combo for this car. Um, all the chrome, pretty much all new. Uh, the uh, bright work, the trim, you can see all of that here down the fender, down the rocker here. That is all in really good shape, uh, great condition there on that. All the body is all steel, nice and straight, laser straight down the sides. The paint nice, smooth and shiny the whole way around this car. Again, just a real nice car. Uh, we've got these nice Riddler five-spoke chrome wheels the whole way around the car, obviously. Um, the fronts are 18-inch wheels. Mounted on those are brand new Milestar tires. These are 245 40 ZR18 tires here. And again, all the rubber is brand new on this car. Doors, you can see these big doors here, the fitment on these, the gaps, elevations, just as nice as you could ask for. As I said, nice and straight the whole way down the side of the car. All of your bright work around the glass, your trim, all of that is in excellent shape. Glass also, there's no chips or cracks or anything like that in the glass. Again, practically all of this stuff is pretty much new on this car. Um, it's got the vent windows here. They do function as they should. Um, we'll go ahead and open our door up here just to kind of take a quick look inside. We will go inside a little later and take a closer look. But you can see that blue paint. It's continued on the inside of the door and along the bottom here of your door edges. You've got these nice threshold plates here. The two-tone interior also on this car to match the outside. The blue and the white bench seat here. Nice, nice upholstery on this on both the front and the rear seats. Um, this car has these big wall windows in the back and they do slide open. So we just go ahead and move that for you so you can see that. As you can see, that, that does work the way it should. Slides nice and easy. We'll go ahead and shut our door. And can you continue on back to the, the side of the car here? As you can see these nice big long quarter panels. The fins back here, just like all of your Tri-5s had that were noted for. 
And again, those nice Riddler wheels. Now back here, slightly bigger wheel. These are a 20 inch wheel. Again, all chrome, five spoke Riddler. And on these, again, Milestar Robert. And these are 275-45 ZR20s on the rear of the car. All right, now around the back side here of our 55 Chevy Nomad. We've got it all opened up for you here. You know, a little bit of messing around here to get it down. It takes a little bit of time. So we just went ahead and got, got it opened up for you so we can take a look at this on camera. Um, so again, everything pretty much all new on this car. The, the taillight bezels, the taillight lenses, you can see all of that stuff all new. There's not a single mark on it. There's no cracks in the lenses, nothing at all like that. So again, excellent condition. Big chrome rear bumper. You can see parts of that there in the video. Those are real nice front and rear both. Again, you're going to see all the pictures of it too, so you'll see that in detail. We've got the hatch all opened up here, the gate down. You can see it's on these retractable tethers here. And you can see the mat that's attached to this, it's in excellent shape. The mat throughout the back here also, you can see the back side of that, um, the bench rear seat there too. It's in excellent condition. The wheel well upholstery back here, again, just everything ever so nice on this part. You even have the uh, your door here that you can lift up for your spare tire storage. Now this particular pair does not have a spare tire in it, but you can see again, just as we were on the underside of the car, this has all been treated with the red oxide primer here within this spare tire storage housing here. And again, you see how nicely that that all closes up there for you as well. Um, again, the nice blue paint on the inside here of the tailgate or the, the lift gate, I should say. Again, you've got your uh, hatch here, the glass in excellent shape. All of your seals are in good shape. There's no rips or tears in any of that, even around the tailgate here, all new stuff. Um, and again, uh, the back hatch, it does lock into place then too. So as you raise it up, you just have to raise it up far enough that you can put these little locks in place here to keep it held up for you if you're getting in and out of the vehicle here. So, um, with that said, that's pretty much everything on the back side. All right, now since we've come around from the back side here, we're going to go ahead and walk our way up the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, everything all the same as what we had over on the driver's side, so no, you know, no big things to really go over, but again, we'll just touch on them here briefly. Again, nice big long quarter panels. You see that paint? Nice and shiny and smooth. Uh, again, laser straight body down the sides. We've already mentioned about all the taillight bezels and the lenses. Those are all in excellent shape. Glass the whole way down the side here. This glass is just as nice as you could ever want. Uh, again, all of your bright work here, the trim and the moldings around all the windows, those are in excellent shape. The 20 inch Riddler wheels, the 275-40 ZR18 Milestar tires here on the back. Uh, you got your rocker molding here all the way up to the front fender. You can see just how nice that actually is. Shines up really, really nice in this car. The bright drip rail moldings here, um, those are very nice. Now, one thing I did feel to mention, back here on the back of the car here, you do have a drip rail molding. It does go the whole way around the car, even back here at the back hatch along the top trim here of the window. That is not bright. Uh, they have it painted the same as this white top to blend it in. But again, that is an excellent shape. It is nice and straight as can be. No dents or dings or any kind of like buffing marks or anything like that. It is polished up nice uh, where everything is bright and where it's all painted nice and straight on the car. We'll go ahead and open this door up too, just as we did the other side to show our weather stripping here. Again, all new. No cracks, no tears, it's all new stuff. So again, sealing up from the elements, not gonna be an issue on this car. The blue paint continued on the interior of the car. The two-tone interior, again, as we've already mentioned. You can see the threshold plate on this side too. You can see this side here of the bench seat too up front. Again, everything is just immaculate on this car. Blue carpeting too, just ever so nice here. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut this now. Now again, we showed the other side, the sliding window back here. We'll go ahead and show this side as well. You can see that that operates just as it should. So again, very nice car. Everything adjusted nice. 
our door, the gaps, the elevations, you can see gap in the back, gap up front, very uniform elevations. It's just as straight as can be, so everything's adjusted up nice. As we work our way forward again, you see some of that bright trim work here on the front fender and back the side of the door, all polished up nice. You can see from the side here, the side silhouette, you can see the, uh, the hood up here. It's adjusted up nice too. Again, it fits really, really good on this car. All steel as well. And again, back up here, 18 inch wheels, 245, 40 uh, ZR, 18 inch tires. Uh, and those again, matching the rear, those are the Milestar tires. And that brings us to the front of the car. All right, finally now we've gotten to the front end of the car. Again, you can see 1955, that nice grill work here again. The, the bright work, the trim on this car, you just can't say enough about it. It is just very, very nice and in excellent condition. So again, you've got the bright work around that whole grill. You've got the bright work within the grill. You've got that Chevrolet emblem on the front end. You've got that nice, big jetliner airplane uh, hood ornament as they came with back in the day. Polished up nicely. Again, that bright work, the chrome work, just immaculate on this car. Big chrome front bumper. You've got these big bumper ends here on the front of that as well. Um, that way, you know, nice little touch there, and it was some added protection back in the day. Headlights. Got your traditional sealed beam, high beam, low beams here. The glass lenses in those are in excellent shape. You can see the bezels around the headlights, that bright work, in excellent shape. Your marker lights, your turn signals, bezels, and lens covers both in excellent shape on both sides of the car. Um, what we'll do now is let's go ahead and open this hood. But before we do, real quick, just take notice of how well the hood does fit. You can see your gaps the whole way around the hood, uniform from side to side, and your elevations, it's lined up very, very good on this car. So we'll go ahead and open it. So as we raise that hood up, you'll see on the underside of the hood, it's all steel, braced just like it should be from, from back in 55, basically. Nice blue paint here on the inside of the hood as well to match with the exterior. And again, everything on this car is practically new. So again, your inner fenders, those are all new. You've got an original style battery back there. So it's got all your little individual caps if you ever need to fill it up. Uh, but yeah, they retain that to give it that original look. Nice pro air cleaner in here. We've got just painted valve covers. Now this is uh, more so of a modern motor. It's a 350 cubic inch motor. Um, now it's a crate motor. It's one of those Echo in Mexico um, crate motors. Target Master Goodrich uh, crate motor, 350. It's got a 625 CFM. Uh, Edelbrock, or no, that's a Demon, uh, scratch it, Demon carburetor, 625 CFM, single feed with electric choke. Uh, so again, real good carburetor on it. It's got a Wyand Street Warrior aluminum intake on it as well. So again, nice aluminum intake on there. Now they've elected to keep the stock exhaust manifolds, the cast exhaust manifolds on here. Um, and, and a lot of people do that. Um, headers, uh, sometimes they don't fit so well. Sometimes you'll get header leaks. Um, the manifolds seem to seal up a lot better. You really don't lose anything as far as sound or anything through them. You make that up through your exhaust. And we've already seen the nice new exhaust that's on the underside of this car. Um, this car here is also power steering. And that's all new stuff there as far as the power steering goes. Power brakes. And those are, uh, you can see the new master cylinder, new booster. We've already been over the brakes again, that's front disc rear drums. And those front disc are drill slotted rotors too. So again, braking is not going to be an issue on this car. They're going to cool really well and you're not going to lose any performance in it that way. Um, all new heater lines, you've got the stock style radiator in here to retain all that stock, you know, appearing stuff underneath the hood. Um, so that's really about it on the underside of the hood here and inside the engine compartment. All right, here we are now sitting inside our 55 Chevy Nomad. Surprisingly enough, a big bench seat like this, very comfortable in this car. Um, so you can see we've already talked about the two-tone interior, the blue and the white interior to match the outside of the car. 
Um, we've got the factory dash here still retained in the car, factory instrumentation. You see this nice steering column here, it's painted up to match. Again, a nice, uh, I'm going to say this is probably like a grand style steering wheel, more so kind of along a sports style wheel, but it's got the white wrap on it just to make it match up with the rest of the interior. So again, nice touch. Column shift, again the factory instrumentation, you've got a 110 mile an hour speedometer, you've got the factory temperature gauge, factory fuel gauge still retained inside the car, factory heater controls too. Now they did go ahead and upgrade the radio in this car, but what they did not do was modify the dash in any way. You can get these aftermarket radios that go in these cars, uh, there's a couple companies out there that make them. This one though in particular I believe is the custom auto sound, and it's again it's a retrofit radio, fits right into stock location, no cutting or modifying of the original dash. So it's a digital AM, FM cassette radio and it's got the auxiliary port on it too that you can hook up different things sometimes you can do like a, an iPod or an MP3 player of some sorts there again you see a nice painted blue dash nice blue carpeting all new the blue and white two-toned upholstery both on the door panels and on the seats you got this big beautiful white headliner in here along with all this bright work inside of this car even too so you've got your, uh, your headliner support bows the whole way back through to the rear of the car. Those are nicely polished up and look great in here. Again, you see all the trim on the inside here around the windshield. It's just polished up really, really nice. Um, chrome mirror sitting up here for your rear view mirror. Um, just a nice overall car. I don't think you can really ask for too much more in a vehicle like this. Uh, it's got to be a real enjoyment to drive something like this, and I think you're going to have a lot of fun with a car like this. Um, so with that said, we're all done with everything, all except for firing up. So what we'll do now is, uh, at this time, if you have any more questions about this car, um, you can definitely go ahead and get a hold of us, either by calling us or by email. All of our contact information will be throughout the video um, and in, in the photos and on our website as well. Uh, and you'll be able to see uh, you know, upwards of 100 photos and the video that you're watching right now all through our website.